Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University and Old Woman Harley, issue number three of five, I believe. Um, this is all right. Uh, for, for what it is, it was actually pretty good. But just as far as comic books are concerned, totally, it was all right. <laughs> Let's get started on this comic book, all right? Uh, Escape from Old York. Uh, look, just work with us. We've got a bit going here. I have no freaking idea what the hell that's supposed to mean. Um, Frank Terry is the writer. Inaki Miranda is the artist. Eva De La Cruz is on colors. Dave Sharp is on letters. Amanda Connor and Paul Mounts to the cover. And boom. <laughs> oh, oh, what do we got here? Harley Quinn was created by Paul Dini and Bruce Tim. And Bane was created by Chuck Dixon, Doug Munch, and Graham Nolan. Awesome. Okay, so... The <laughs> the beginning couple of pages in these comic books are always hysterical to me. I I have so much fun reading those stupid articles in the beginning. The the, the little um, you know, insert your mind chip here and stuff like that. Just I'd have to say probably some of the best as far as uh, funny comics like comical comic books. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, is the rest of the comic unfortunately that's it's a little bit like eh, <laughs> you know. But those beginning parts. It makes the comic book feel a lot like RoboCop, you know, that original movie where every so often you'd have that, I'll buy that for a dollar. Um, I almost feel like it'd be better to sprinkle them throughout the comic book as opposed to just jamming them all in the beginning. But what do I know? I could be completely wrong. Um, there's so many funny parts in here. I, I'm pretty sure the one kid that they bring up is the one uh, heavy kid from uh, Stranger Things. He's actually my favorite character. I'm the one, the, the, the one who talks a little bit funny and he had Dart in the second season. Yeah, him. <laughs> I feel like that was him. Could be wrong. Looked like him. An older version of him. Anyhow, uh, basically, Harley gets into it with the, um, the Bane twins. And it's actually Bane's kids. Bane shows up. He's nothing but veins. He's not like big right now. He's skinny. And he's just a bunch of freaking veins. He's like, oh yeah, Venom, Venom use jacked me up. I'm real ugly now. Um, and then she gets kidnapped-ish by Barbara Gordon. And the whole thing is about, you know, who murdered the Joker. Well, it turns out that it may, may have been Lobo, but none of that really matters because by the end they're showing that the Joker is there. Now maybe it's just the Joker from the future, the Batman Beyond thing, uh, which is technically a different Joker. I'm not entirely sure how they're doing this. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I don't take this comic book seriously. I don't take it as canon. I don't take it as anything special beyond the idea of this is a fun comic book to read. This is escapism. <laughs> and that's really just all that it is. Uh, I'm still having fun with it. And just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can imagine some people getting angry like, oh, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. You're right. And it never will. It won't matter. None of it will. It's just Harley. It's just meant to be fun read it like that. Honestly, this is probably best read as a uh, trade paperback that you borrow from the library. It's not even meant to be disrespectful. It's just, it is what it is. I know it's not going to make them a million dollars. A book like this shouldn't necessarily make somebody a million dollars, but <laughs> I, I think it's acceptable fun. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.